Okay, let's break this down. <coughs> when you hear Zain Asha, nobody will immediately connect you to Enugu State mm -mm. or to Igbo heritage, mm -hmm. you know, because it sounds like a Western name. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you are one of us, mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. our compatriot. So I would like to know, how connected are you to your Igbo roots? And uh, what's your original name? Okay. <laughs> Is, are you Obiajulu no, or no, no. Uh, Ijoma or Chedema? <laughs> you know, we'd like to know. And then beyond that, you were so excited when your husband showed up on the screen uh, during the introduction. Yeah. Five years down the line, uh, and you are so excited, so romantic. Okay. Yeah. How are you enjoying uh, family life? Okay, so um, I have an amazing husband. I have somebody who is, you know when you just know that God has brought you with somebody, you feel as though, um, not to get too personal, but I sort of feel as though, you know, I found someone who really makes the sunlight of my spirit shine brighter. Somebody that you know that by you being with this particular person, it makes the world a better place. That is how I feel. And that's, you know, that's what you're seeing <laughs> with me lighting up. Um, in terms of me, being connected to Igbo, Igbo culture. I lived in Enugu for about two years growing up, from the ages 10 to 12. Anama Sibo, Fuma, Fuma, uh-uh. Put that in. Yes, yes. Uh, does anybody here speak Igbo? No. Not a no. word. No. Not a word. No, but I speak some. Oh, you do? Kekwan Adema. Jisike. Uh-huh. Ebekinaje. Ebekinaje. Anameje. Anameje Afia. Okay. So I, I, I speak, I mean, and when I was growing up, I, um, I spoke, when I went to school in Nigeria, because part of the book, I explained how my mother shipped me back to Nigeria when I was 10, and she did that because she just sort of felt as though if you could live in Nigeria and you know, thrive and survive for two years, you could handle anything that the West would throw at you. Um, she did that to toughen me up. Um, in terms of my name, my middle name is Zane. My parents grew up in the north, so Zainab. And then my last name is Ejiofo, and I added Asha. So one of the things um, that I was dealing with when I was coming up, especially being a receptionist at a production company, is I was going through a really hard time career-wise. I was going through a lot of uh, difficulty, and I would pray and pray all the time. Um, and so, really for me, during that hard time, I found a name in the Bible, and I looked up the meaning. Asha means somebody who is, um, somebody who understands that no matter what happens in their life, they continue to hold on and have faith, um, and somebody who wants to bring joy to the world. And I just added it on as a way of kind of like almost like a mantra, mm. almost like a religious mantra, keeping the faith, understanding that really whatever difficulty, just looking in the Bible and seeing this name, whatever difficulty the world threw my way, that if I just persevered and had faith in God, then I would mm. continue through. So it sort of stuck. But um, yeah, last name is Ejofo and then Asha. So yeah.